For the past 10 weeks, I've been working with the white-lined sphinx moth, Hylis lineata. Adult Hylis are key pollinators of the Arkansas River Valley beeping primrose, Enothera harringtonii. However, as the adult females pollinate the flowers, they also lay their eggs on the plants. When these eggs hatch, the caterpillars eat the plant. While some populations of O. harringtonii produce the scent compound linalol, which smells like Fruit Loops, others do not. We wanted to know if these hawk moths had a preference for plants that produce linalol, which could be causing this variation. In addition to testing if adult females had a preference for which plants they laid their eggs on, we also wanted to know if the caterpillars had an unlearned preference for linalol producing plants and if they grew better on these plants. The first step to testing this was to collect eggs laid by females and keep them until the caterpillars hatched. As soon as they hatched, the caterpillars were ready for testing. To see if the caterpillars have an instinctive preference for certain plants, we put them in a dish with leaf discs taken from two different plants from the same population. The caterpillars then had 24 hours to choose a disc to eat. After those 24 hours had passed, we came back to see which disc the caterpillar had chosen. Sometimes they had no clear preference between the two plants, which probably means that they are the same chemotype. They both either do or do not produce linalol. Other times, however, they did have a clear preference for one. While most caterpillars were able to figure out where they needed to go to get food, some were not so smart. We also wanted to know if the caterpillars grew better on certain plants. To find out, we let caterpillars eat leaves for about four days. We weighed the caterpillars and the leaves before and after. That way, we were able to tell how much they ate and how much they grew. Using these data, we were able to calculate their growth rates and feeding rates. Caterpillars did grow faster on one plant than any other. When we compared this to the plants preferred by caterpillars and adults, we found that there was some overlap. This is exciting because if adults and caterpillars both prefer plants that also allow caterpillars to grow well, it is likely that they are selecting four plants with that chemotype. These data will help us to better understand how floral scent affects the diversity-driving interactions between plants and insects.